Welcome everybody to another video by Sander for the YouTube channel Sander Rover and today we are opening another Kaldheim box. This box contains a lot of packs. This is a set booster box. It's not, you know, I mean, there's not like uh, a, a ton of them, but there's 30 set boosters. Each boost booster contains 12 randomly, whoop, there you go. Can it focus on that? Yeah, I think so. Randomly inserted game cards rule book not included of course there's no rule book because you know this is a set box and it's meant for people that collect or already have the stuff know what they're doing i have no idea what i'm doing because i'm not a professional let's get that out of the way first to make me a professional uh click that button over there that says subscribe that would uh help me out a lot you guys you don't know how much that would help me um I'm going for the thousand, and at a thousand, at one thousand subscribers, I'm going to do another giveaway, like I did with the 500. Um, the guy that uh, got the cards had a nice Zendikar set with uh, some nice cards in them. I have to say, there was a lot of cards in there as well that were uh, from the list, which were pricey. Um, as you can see, which I've noticed. Last time in the video, they, the pull tab is quite clear. I'm going to show it to you guys. As you can see right there, there's a little notch, as you can see. But I'm left-handed, so I don't know how that'll go. Not that well, by the looks of it. So let's get cracking. First pack. Here we go. Get that out of the way. Let's see what kind of art we get. Huh? We got, oh, that's that giant that does a lot of damage. Here's a land, and we'll go straight to the uncommons with Herald Unites the Elves as a rare, and another god, Yorn of Winter, with the flip side, the cauldron, the rhyme staff. Uh, yeah, so, cool, cool. And we have another common and a foil common axe guard cavalry with nothing. So, let's see. Um, people are, uh, well, how do I say it? Not so enthusiastic about Kaldheim, or at least some of them are, And but there's a lot of them that are not, and I don't understand why, because I think this set is pretty good, and I love the snow, uh, snow set thing. The World Tree, that is a nice one. And, um, oh, and we got the electrostatic pummeler as, uh, what is that, Kaladesh? Is that Kaladesh? I don't know. And a, a colossal plow as an uncommon foil. Um, I'm going to keep the, uh, the list cards here. Um, Kaldheim, people are complaining about certain cards, like Tibble's Trickery. I have to admit, that's not the most famous card or famous, it is famous, <laughs> but the, not the most sought after card, let's just put it that way. Um, because, well, I have to say it's a 50% hit or miss. Oh man, these cards are sliding, man, they're slip, slick or slick, slip, slick. All right, one uncommon, well, okay, and an Eskia Chariot as <clears throat> the uncommon or the com uh, rare uh, card with an alternate art and a foil Sarus packmate. Um, Seraphs, yeah. So, uh, like for instance, there's a coma, the uh, the serpent. People are complaining about it right now, and uh, the next one will probably be another card that people play a lot, and it's just. It's just weird that people complain about the cards. I mean, they're in here, okay? Just accept it. Hengegate Pathway with, on the other side, the Mistgate Pathway as our rare card. And the Uncommon Spirit of Elder Guard, all right? And a foil Revitalize. Revitalize is always being reprinted every time there's a new art, though. But, it, you know, it's been there. Um... So I don't know if people are complaining about um, the cards because they don't know how to handle it, or if it's just overpowered. All right, Colvodi, Guard of Kinship with 
the ring heart crest on the back side and um, Berkstrider and there's an uncommon Inga Rune Eyes a human wizard uncommon foil and <laughs> an Urza what is it Urza Saga Urza card and it's a common all right and let me just put the list cards over here um so is there anything about these uh or about this set that is worth it well i still think the coma card is really good i enjoy playing it and if you use it with yorian and stuff like that it gets really powerful really quick blood on the snow all right and priest of the haunted edge all right and uh, way down way down and uh oh Mer uh, Ar uh masquerade what's it called Mer arcadia masquerade i can't even pronounce it hammer mage an uncommon all right um so and about all the other stuff that, that the <laughs> reserve list cards i i'm genuinely scared of what it's going to bring us in the near future um Avalanche Caller, all right, Replicating Ring and a Rune Forge Champion. This box has not been very good. Oh, there's a Foil Rare. Ice High Troll and Sarah of Dr R Realm Eater as our Foil Rare. All right, well, Foil Rares are going here then. Uh, I do want to keep track of them. There's, you know, Foil Rares and Mythics go over here. Let's just put it that way. All right, um... Yeah, the the reserve lists are just insane right now. Oh, Elrune, God of the Cosmos. All right, with a flip side, Hacka, Whispering Raven. Raven, really? Raven? Okay, cool. Um, And a Bloodline Pretender as an uncommon foil. Um, so is there anything uh, on the reserve list that I, you know, like to collect. Well, <laughs> I just don't have the money for it, guys. That is just, it, it, it's just insane right now. And I know it's going to increase, but, um, oh, now I just noticed that there's a land in there, so I'll just take it out. Um, and a walking, waking the trolls with, oh, and coma and a foil. Oh, really nice. Inga rune eyes as an uncommon, but, Coma, the Cosmos Serpent in foil. Oh, it's not really. Yeah, there you can see it. It's shiny. Foil Mythic. All right. Cool. That card's worth some money. Um, <clears throat> is there uh, is there like cards that I like to collect? Well, I do like Mirage cards. I I like Mirage. I like the set. It's a big set. Oh, hey, we have another mythic, an Eradicator Valkyrie. All right, let's just put this here, and then this is an uncommon foil. There's a lot of uncommon foils in this one. Um, there, I think Mirage contains 390 cards, I think. No, uh, 330, 110 rares, 110 uh, uncommons, and 110 commons, or something like that. Um, but it's a nice set. Ooh, Ray, Ray Dane. Ooh, and a certain Elementist. All right, two rares. Oh, and we have Tech from the list. And that is, um, all right. You guys help me out. What, what, what's that? What's that? All right, that's a nice thumbnail for the video. Um... The, uh, uh, the 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 Mirage set, yeah. So I I must say that I think I think that'll be the next collectible uh, together with um, oop, Draugr Necromancer and Agar the Freezing Flame as an alternate art. Ooh, alternate art uncommon. Here we go. And foil common. Nothing special. Uh Together with, uh, well, all the other sets around that era. Uh, Visions, maybe. 
uh, all the sets at least that do not have colored symbols but just the symbols so you still had to look it up back in the day to see if it was a common or uncommon or yeah uh, Raven lore and canopy tactician this one is really nice too have you seen the the three green mana that you can add so this technically is just one but it does come into play you know with uh, uh, ah, summoning sickness. Gee, and a visions card, mana war. All right. Um, I do think that all the sets that do not have color colored symbols, but just the black symbols, are going to be worth some money. And the reserve list cards and those cards and those are going to be even even you know better. Um, Inner storm predator. All right, and there's why is there always a common in between? I don't understand, but in a common foily. Um, so, do I want to collect all those sets? Yes, I do. How do I collect them? Well, <laughs> sometimes I get offered a few cards or I look them up. Ooh, foil. Uh, so, foil pile. Um, I get cards offered or uh, you know I pick them up somewhere um, I, it, it's just there's not a lot going around right now blessing of frost and boring Clex. there he is our favorite monster for tokens or for uh, uh, counters sorry counters on them yeah that, although that card is really nice it does not it never seems to be able to stick it always gets killed Practically instantly. If if the opponent doesn't have an answer for it right away, yeah. Anyway, um, all the uh, all the sets out there, uh, the older ones, yeah, they're they're going to be worth quite some money. Um, search for glory. All right, and a Vega, the Watcher spirit and a foil uncommon port of carfell all right carful um what will happen uh when the sets you know age well uh it, it the sets might retrace right now very just re retribution all right the the sets might retrace a little bit in price um oh, boris challenger really but um the overall value of the sets is just going to increase it's just going to it's going to go up people are hmm, how do i put this mad angry at wizards a little bit because of the um Skemvor Avenger. All right, let me just explain this. Um, because of all the sets that are out there, because you've got uh, the draft booster box, then you've got the set booster box, then you've got the collector's booster box, and then you have, now you have the commander sets. Now, commander is kind of keeping the game alive when it comes to tabletop, like real you know interaction play with other players at a somewhere or online with a spell table for instance arnie broken bow all right legendary wharf dwarf and then yeah there we go um they are keeping the game alive they are keeping the game alive they keep the tabletop and the paper alive so that's why wizards is, is you know putting its money in into the commander basket, which will probably result into a commander Kaldheim booster box for, I don't know, for commander, yeah. Um, so, I don't know. Uh, battle for Bredegard, all right. And we got a, mm, fo uh, no, this is just an uncommon. This is the foil village rights. Uh, sacrifice creature, always awesome. You should have that god out. And then you can just take whatever the the opponent is sacrificing, unless it's a token, of course. Ah, uh, there we go. Um, anyway, sets, yeah, they will. The value will just keep increasing. In search of greatness, 
and then we got another uncommon and a foil common and we got a, a portal card a wrath of god all right put all creatures into their owner's discard pile this includes your creatures discard pile you mean the graveyard right not exile exile is a different because then you got to remove them from the game remember that this is just like um uh, shatter the sky or for instance but then n not with drawing a card effect it has the same mana cost that as well all right blinding the old gods yeah there's finn the fang bearer with his poison tokens which is, by the way, awesome with in combination with Bore and Klax because that gives the opponent four tokens, four counters on their player. All right, Aurun's Epiphany. I do not know that mythic, I have to say. Create two bird... Oh, yeah, I've seen that in play. You take an extra turn after that one. Goldmaw Champion. All right, well, last couple of packs. Couple, well, I'll make that ten. I think we're at 16 minutes. All right. Whoa, nice, nice, nice speeding there. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm not, you know, I don't open them up as the old other guy. He opens two boxes in 20 minutes. It's just insane, man. Bell of Frost and Ice. Yep. I've seen them play with that. I've seen some play with that. The giant decks are quite powerful, but I think they need some fine tuning. And need, they need some kind of... Uh, protection for the destruction of their creatures because giants keep getting destroyed so snow covered forest and there these are the commons uncommon there's a land and righteous valkyrie once again I mean, is that a bulk rare or what horizon seeker and uh yeah i've looked that one up last time as well this symbol i forgot fractured power stone it's not worth anything, but hey, you know, who cares, right? All right. Um, we got some nice mythics. We got, you know, Coma and War and Clex already. So that's pretty cool. Divine Gambit, Trickster, and Tundra Fumarol. Fumarol. I have no idea, man. Does four damage to target creature or planeswalker add. Oh. Colorless mana for each mana spent to cast this spell. Or each snow covered. Until end of turn, you don't lose his mana as steps and phases end. Alright, well that's nice. And there's Egon, God of Death, with the Throne of Death. Throne of Death as an alternate art. And that's nice, I like that. As a land pillar, that's just, oh, that's an artifact. It's not a land. It's not a land. It's not a land. All right. Um, so, are you guys going to open up any cases are you, or any boxes? Have you opened any boxes? What were your drops or what was your best card right now? Yeah, there's, that was a card from the old set. There we go. Oh, man, it's all slick. These things are really, really slick. Really slippery. Path of the World Tree. Seen action with that. Love it. All right. And we have a Dragonkin Berserker. Yeah, uh, it, it's it's a little bit too slow for me. The Berserker. It get either it gets killed or uh, you just don't make it to you know make dragons. It, it's just it's too slow somehow. All right, way down again. Well, there we go. Way down. Cardur Vicious Return. Cardors. All right. And Haunting Voyage. All right. This one I haven't seen in play yet. Let's put this. Choose a creature type. Return up to two creature cards from that type from your graveyard to the battlefield. If this spell was foretold, return all creature cards of that type from your graveyard to the battlefield instead. Ooh, all right. Fortell, seven. That is quite expensive. So that is in total nine mana. Hmm. All right, and there's Bergy, god of storytelling, with her a legendary artifact on the back. 
There we go. Discard a card. Exile the top two cards of your library. You may play those cards this turn. All right. Well, replicating ring again. And uh, foil raiders carve. The artwork on these things, though, even for a common card, I mean, that really looks nice to me. Three packs left. All right. I'm stalling, as you can tell. I'm, I'm trying to not quit because I love opening packs, man. I love talking about it. And uh, Emerson call around. Okay, and we got a Dark Boar Pathway with on the other side the Slither Boar Pathway. So this is the Golgari version. And it's an alternate art. Or full art, sorry. And the Blood Sky Massacre as another foil rare. And we got to put the foil rares right over here. So, yeah. Um, are we going to open more boxes in the future? I don't know, guys. And 3% women, by the way. Or 5% women, actually. Because I noticed that it, with me it's 5. But, you know, the other guy's not that pretty. <clears throat> anyway. Um, Icebreaker Kraken is a rare and an uncommon spirit of the Elder Guard. And a foil Masked Vandal. Masked Vandal has seen some play. I've played against it. Uh, if you exile a creature card from your graveyard, you can, you know, exile target artifact or enchantment an opponent control. So that includes a Great Henge, for instance. It's bye bye Great Henge. Uh, foil, common, dual land, as you might want to call it. It's sort of a dual land. Uh, here we go. All right, let's see. Valkyrie Sword, Youthful Valkyrie, Starnheim Aspirant, and Dreamwalker. And. Cosima. Oh, well, Cosima is nice. And the alternate art card with the vehicle, the Omen Keel on the back on the back side. All right, we got the priest, and as a last card, we have Infernal Pet. Well, that was it, guys and women and gals and girls. Uh, leave a thumbs up, leave a like, leave a comment. Tell me what you have drawn from, or you know, what cards you've picked from your sets. Um, so we got, uh, let's see, we got, uh, we got foils and we got, uh, foil rare and we got one, two, three, four, five, six mythic cards, six, six, <clears throat> gee, six cards, including Vorinclex and Cosima. And then we also had Ket, a tech, tech. So yeah, these are, yeah. All right. Interesting pull, interesting pulls, and you might want to pull that electrostatic pummeler. Man, that I don't think that's worth anything. All right, catch you guys on the next one. Hopefully, it'll be an arena video, which requires a little bit more time for me to prep. But thank you very much, and have a good one.